Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and I have just crashed. And today we are checking out some more of the new Hot Wheels cars in Forza Horizon 4. We've been checking out a load of these over the course of the last week and we have two left to go and check out which will be today and tomorrow. So if you want to stick around for that, make sure you subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. And I wanted to say a big thank you to all of you who have already subscribed and stuck with the channel over the years. We did recently hit 800 subscribers, which was absolutely fantastic. So a big thank you to all of you for supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot. We are trying to reach a thousand subscribers. So if you are new to the channel and you want to help us out, that would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, today we have another awesome vehicle to go and check out, so let's just hop straight into it. And here we go. Today's car is a little bit of a big boy and it is absolutely awesome. I think this thing is probably my first or second favourite vehicle in this new car pack. I know I said in the last video when we checked out the uh, the the Nash, whatever it was, the vehicle I was just driving, we checked out yesterday. I know I said that was my favourite vehicle, but this thing looks awesome. I really, really like this thing. We have driven an international load star before on my SnowRunner series. But it didn't quite look like this. This thing is basically a hot rod. Uh, let's go ahead and explode the thing. It only really opens the front doors. But you can see the steering wheel there is almost vertical. We do appear to have a very cool looking um, gear shifter in there. I think we've got a V8 in here. It does appear so. And we've got this massive rear wing on the back here. So I think this thing is going to have a lot of horsepower. And I've seen that it does do wheelies. So our goal for today is to try and make this international do a wheelie. And to do that we need to head to the custom shop. So let's go ahead and do that first. Alright, so here we are in the upgrade shop. Let's first check out what swaps we can do to this thing. So... Standard it is C-Class and it has 485 horsepower, which is quite a lot I will say we can go ahead and put in the 5.2 litre V8 or the racing 7.2 litre V8 I've been keeping the stock engine in the vehicles so far So I'm gonna keep the stock engine in this thing and hopefully we can get this thing to do a wheelie with that and then uh, drivetrain swaps we can convert it to all-wheel drive if we want but that's not going to help us out if we're trying to do a wheelie so I'm going to leave it in rear wheel drive now spoiler options or customization options we can go for this downforce on the front some Forza Aero we want as little downforce on the front as we can get so not going to bother with that the rear wing options, we already have this massive rear wing, but we can go ahead and put on an extra rear wing if we want to. Doesn't look right in my opinion, so not going to bother with that. Wheel options, now we have got some awesome looking wheels on this, so I'm not going to change those. But we do need to go ahead and put on, I think probably drag slicks is going to be our best bet. They're the most sticky wheels, so we'll leave those on there. And then we can go ahead and upgrade the rim radius, but not too keen to do that. So we'll just go ahead and leave that. Then we need to go ahead and upgrade all the drivetrain stuff like the clutch, the transmission and all this stuff in here. Then brakes. I think we're going to need some upgraded brakes, so we'll give that a go. Springs and dampers. Now I'm not really sure what we want on this. I think maybe rally springs and dampers so we can get the bounce going i think that's going to be how we do this so we'll put that on there we'll go ahead and put on anti-roll bars i think we probably want those now we want this thing to be as light as possible so i'm not going to bother with the roll cage but i am going to go ahead and put in weight reduction 
and then we need to go ahead and upgrade the engine so we got 485 horsepower as standard which is a fair amount but this thing weighs quite a lot so we're going to need to upgrade that quite a lot let's see how much we can actually get out of this thing so we need to go ahead and upgrade all of this stuff it is supercharged which is fun i always like supercharging stuff and it bumps it up to s1 class so we've gone from c class to s1 class with all our upgrades and now let's see how much horsepower we have 867 with the stock engine and a few upgrades so that is pretty impressive actually you can obviously get lots more horsepower out of this thing and it doesn't weigh a whole lot either for something that is quite big it's basically a truck or like a small lorry it only weighs just under three thousand pounds which for forza is pretty light actually so let's take this thing to the spray shop and see what options we have over there now all right so we are in the spray shop and unfortunately it doesn't look like we have any advanced painting options here i kind of thought the red and the white might be like um different paint options so we've got the manufacturer color or you can paint it all one color which is um pretty cool it actually looks pretty good in orange in fact i think we might go for that does look pretty nice doesn't have a bonnet doesn't have wing mirrors we can go ahead and paint the spoiler which is going to paint that whole back area i think it looks better in orange to be honest and then we do have some wheel options so we can go ahead and paint those all one color if we want to or you can just paint the individual groups like that looks awesome and then you can obviously go ahead and change all the window tints which i am not a fan of but let's take this into the drag strip and see if we can get it to do a little wheelie so this thing looks absolutely crazy outside this is the first time i've seen it outside actually the rear spoiler is just absolutely massive really fits the vehicle though i think and i love the side pipes on the side in my opinion every vehicle should have side pipes unfortunately they don't but let's see if we can get this thing to do a wheelie now i don't think it's going to do a wheelie off the launch but we may be able to bounce it up kind of like a low rider so we'll go ahead and rev it up here and see i think we did get front wheels up there can't on yeah i think we are we we did get the front wheels up there it wasn't the most impressive wheelie i might actually have to download a tune to get this thing to do a good wheelie but i want to see if we can bounce this thing we're kind of getting it there it's i think it needs a tune i mean i am a fair fairly good builder um i can build some good tunes but i do know there are some wheelie tunes for this thing so i'll go ahead and apply one of those and we'll see if we can get this thing up in the air properly okay so i've downloaded a tune and i've just tested it and we can get front wheels up so let's see how high we can actually get this thing it has kept the thing s1 class but you can see it's changed up the wheels a little bit and it's added a few other things let's see what we can actually do with it now so we're going to rev it up a little bit and launch and holy moly we can get those wheels pretty high i don't think we can get it much higher than that but i'll give it a go we'll see if we can bounce it a little bit higher now so we'll launch and bounce and it was going then it was going i think we can get it higher let's see let me try this again so we go reverse and then full forwards and there we go that is the wheelie we were looking for it's very uncontrollable but right at the end of the video we did finally get it oh my days we can get those wheels right off the ground let's try this one more time okay that wasn't very impressive so slap it in reverse full forwards and there we go it does want to turn into the barriers but you can get this thing to go pretty high 
and then as soon as you chain into second it does drop down but there we go that is the international load start absolutely awesome looks incredible sounds incredible does wheelies what more can you ask for from a vehicle like this let me know what you guys think of this car down in the comments personally i really love this thing i think it's absolutely awesome we've got one more vehicle to check out which we are going to be checking out tomorrow and i forgot to mention at the start of the video we are doing a merch giveaway to celebrate 800 subscribers over on twitter so i'll leave a link in the description to that down below if you want to go and check that out but that's going to do it for today's video thanks all so much for watching i hope you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one